Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a free tool you could use to analyze your hard drives to see what's taking up all your space. So let's say you're running out of room on your disk and you're not sure what the uh, cause is and you've run the Windows storage cleanup and you're still not getting your space back, uh, you could use this tool to find out. All right, so it's called a Disk Space Analyzer Max. You could get it from the Microsoft Store, so just open the Microsoft Store, do a search up here for Disk Space Analyzer Max. Uh, look for this icon here, look for this publisher, click on get or install depending on what your button says. And then once it's done, you could open it from here and then it should also be in your start menu. Alright, so when you first open it, you have the option to scan all drives, individual drives if you have more than one, or you could come here and choose a folder and browse to it. So we're going to start just by scanning the entire C drive to see what's going on here. Alright, so you'll have your bar going across the bottom here for the scan, your little Pac-Man icons going here, which you can actually turn off. While that's going, let's see if we kind of get some more space here. Alright, so we have the name, the subtree percentage, the total percentage, the size, how many items total, files and folders, and how many files, and how many subfolders, and then the last change date, and then any attributes. All right, so we'll give this a second to finish scanning here, and then we'll check out the results. Okay, so here are our results. We have the C drive here with the full bar, uh, Windows using 40% with 19 gigs, and this many files and folders, then the users folder coming in second, and then program files coming in third. And then, of course, you could expand, too, to see what's going on, like we have this WinSXX folder using up most of the space in the Windows drive here at 9 gigs out of the 19 gigs. And then you can just kind of go down the line here and see what's going on. And then you notice over here on the right, you have your extensions. So the type of extension, description of it, let's see if we can get some more room here. Then the size used by the total. So we have, for example, three ISO files using 6.3 gigabytes and 13.5% of the drive. And then of course you could come here and sort as well. So you probably want to come here and sort by bytes to get the largest types of files here. So DLLs, we have 15 gigabytes just of DLLs. Alright, so let's just kind of browse through here real quick so we can see under users, Todd here is using 100% of the space and he's using nothing. There's only two user accounts here. And then we kind of branch out here. Then we can see that documents is using 52% of the user folder here with 6.4 gigabytes. Then we can expand even further here. So we can see this miscellaneous folder is using 98% of the documents folder. And then we can see why we have these two big ISO files in here using up all the space. All right, so I'm not sure where we have these black boxes, I think, because I'm recording at a low resolution, so it's kind of messing with it. So you shouldn't see those. Okay, and then once you're here, let's just minimize everything. You could sort by whatever column you want, like so. But the C drive, since it's the root, is always going to stay at the top. All right, so now let's go up to tree map and enable it. I think it's enabled by default. So if you click on show tree map, then it'll give you a graphical representation of your files. So this is pretty useful if you're going for just the bigger files. If you're trying to find something in here, good luck. It's not going to do you any good. And if you've ever used WizTree, you'll notice this looks very similar to that. So you might want to compare them both and see which one you like better. So we did a video on WizTree as well, so I'll put that in the description. So you can see here, if I click on this red, it takes us right to the file here, which is the ISO file, and then highlights it here. And if I click on this one here, you can see it's an MP4 video file, and it takes us to it right here, 3.3 gigabytes. And then you can you know, kind of click on these other ones too. So whatever this ONNXE type of file is, that's pretty big. 275 megabytes, so we have all these here. MSP files, whatever those are, but you can see they're 500 megabytes each. So you could always look into that to see if that's something you could get rid of. And if you click on one here, it'll highlight all the instances of it. But it's still going to be kind of hard to find unless you know, click on each one, then it'll take you to that file. So let's say we're kind of wondering what this 
800 megabytes of JavaScript files are for. If you click on it here, I'm going to kind of highlight those as well. But like I said, you'll have to kind of click through them and see if you can figure out where they are. All right, so now let's take a look at some of the options up here in the toolbar. Open. So let's say you wanted to do just a folder, just the documents, for example. So now to do a rescan here, and you can see in our graph here, we have these two disk image files, which are taking up most of the space. That's why they're so big. We could click on them there, and we still have some stuff here over to the side as well. And then, of course, if the tree map is not working for you, you can just turn it off and get a better idea of everything else in the list here. All right, then we have a refresh, open an item. So you have to have it selected there. Copy the path, open it in Explore. Open a command prompt here, right to that folder. Refresh, delete to recycle bin, delete permanently. Show the properties of that file. This gives you the Windows interface there. Zoom in and zoom out. I believe that's for when you have the tree map enabled, so it's not going to do any good here. And then you can give them a rating. Then we have some options up here. Open, refresh, quit. Copy the path. Empty recycle bin. Check the properties. So similar options is what you'll see in the toolbar. Show the tree map again. So if you want to show free space, you could have that checked. Show unknown. So the file types over here, toolbar, All right, let's check on configure here. So this will bring us to the settings. So if you want to follow junction points, you can turn that on. Here's the sizes. If you want to show a grid, show stripes, that type of thing. You want to turn out that Pac-Man animation, you could do that. Show the time spent during the scan. Change your levels if you want to do that. Tree map configuration. You want to change the style. Show the grid. Change the grid color. And then you have this cleanup section here. So you could create a custom cleanup for certain types of files. And then once you do that, you come here to cleanup. And then you could have your user define cleanup and do specific types of cleanups on certain types of files. Otherwise, you just have the empty recycle bin cleanup option. All right, so as you can see, it's a decent program, and this might come in handy for you to find the large files that are using up your disk space rather quickly. All right, so once again, just go to the Microsoft Store, do a search for Disk Space Analyzer Max, and then you can try it out and see if it works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.